this is a one acre lot and it spans across way more than this chain link fenced in area which is the size of most average yards we're going to take a walk out to a stake in the ground and the stake in the ground is going to be from the curb straight on back and I'll pan around for you I'm moving quite a distance here folks you see the gentleman out there with his lawnmower if you take a look at the left of his fence go one two three four five six seven eight eight about eight fence posts over on a diagonal this is approximately where the property line angles so let's just pan from here and then at the eighth post you come straight back to the curb again so you've got kind of a triangular wedge imagine coming straight across and then all the way back there is the house it's basically about two building lot sizes over what we've got so if you took a, that home and that fenced in yard you could practically do that again back here so I'm stepping back on an angle I'm still on land that is part of this property just to give a buyer a true feeling of how much land there really is here it's quite a bit uh, I think that's really important for you to realize how much land is included and that you have no restrictions now I'm certain that if you pick up the township and you want to give them plans to build you've got to get a permit and all that other good stuff so I would definitely get in contact with the local county building zoning folks but this home is in very nice shape moving condition and it's got a just about a full acre it's 0.93 and change of an acre there's also a brand new Bosch split HVAC system put in state-of-the-art and that was just installed paperwork is included hope that helps you a little bit to see I'm behind the chain link fence again so where that stick is we've already been walking out to it it's about right there and then to about the eighth from the left side post and then it comes back in straight on